Hey everyone, welcome to Cooking Companion TV. I'm Jenna Edwards, and this is a recipe demo of whole roasted cauliflower with honey lime tahini dressing by MamieBood.com, a French photographer and food lover. So give this video a thumbs up if you like it. We start by boiling water and or broth in a large pot to pre-cook the cauliflower and we have to roast hazelnuts. So take a handful of hazelnuts and roast them in the oven for about eight minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius. While the hazelnuts roast and the broth comes to a boil, we prep the cauliflower by removing the leaves and the stalks. If you love cauliflower, you probably don't have to be precise because you know what you like and don't. But here I'm trying to remove any of the thicker and fibrous like woody arms and stalks. And if you have any questionable spots on the top, you can flip those off too. Now boil the cauliflower or steam it for 10 to 15 minutes. I'd stay on the side of 10 minutes once you drop it in the water because it is possible to overcook the cauliflower and it quickly turns to mush. You want a little bit of a pushback when you bite into the cauliflower. And one of the challenges of whole roasted cauliflower is getting flavor into the middle of the head. Now boiling in broth and aromatics will help with that. I have half water and half chicken broth plus a healthy amount of salt. And I'm adding a bay leaf and rosemary stalks for some good measure. The hazelnuts are ready, so I wrap them in some cloth to steam for a minute or two, and now I'll roll them around in the cloth to remove the skins, which I somehow did not film, but it is a delightfully easy method. So let's remove the cauliflower from the broth carefully and let it drain and cool. Now mix together the spices and oils. We need two tablespoons of olive oil, a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of rassel hanout, and a teaspoon of curry, and whisk these together. Once the cauliflower has had a chance to drain, place it in your baking dish, first upside down. Now, as we apply the spices, we wanna make sure some of it gets on the inside of the head to distribute flavor evenly. You don't want the flavor to just be on the outside edge, right? So make a few swipes with a pastry brush uh, and, and try to get the marinade or the spices down inside. I'll carefully clip, flip it back over, brush on all of the spices over the rest of the cauliflower. Here I only used one tablespoon of oil with the spices and it was just quite not enough oil to spread around the spices. And that's why I recommend using two tablespoons of oil. Now bake for 10 to 15 minutes at 400 Fahrenheit or 200 Celsius. Then turn on the broiler for another 10 to 15 minutes. You're just looking to brown the top of the cauliflower, maybe get a crisp. And while that roasts, let's whip up the tahini dressing. We need a quarter cup of tahini or 60 grams and grate in half a clove of garlic. Then we need a tablespoon of thyme honey, which is not gonna be easy to find in the US, but it is absolutely beautiful. It has just a slight little essence of, of that thyme floralness. Now, otherwise, maybe just use a, a tablespoon, scant tablespoon of whatever honey you have or add it to taste because it can get sweet really quickly. And squeeze in the juice of half a lime. Start whisking it all together, of course. It will seize up first, which means it'll get thicker and you'll add in a tablespoon of water at a time until it reaches the consistency that you want. Three to four tablespoons is enough. It will thicken over time, so maybe make it slightly thinner. All right, once your cauliflower is out of the oven, it is time to serve. You can leave it in the baking dish or carefully, carefully transfer it to a serving dish. I recommend using a bed of watercress or arugula, or you can use a bed of rosemary and thyme stems. It's really beautiful and aromatic. The greens will, of course, be more edible. So I'm stuffing watercress around my cauliflower for serving and then drizzle or pour on most of the tahini, sprinkle on some sesame seeds and the roasted hazelnuts and squeeze on more lime juice. I'll slice that cauliflower into wedges like a cake for individual servings. It's an impressive piece for the dinner table and it's hearty enough for a vegetarian dinner. So that's it for this recipe demo of whole roasted cauliflower with honey lime tahini dressing. Get the ingredient list below or at cookingcompaniontv.com slash honey tahini cauliflower. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to this channel for more demos just like this. I'm Jenna Edwards and thanks for watching.